Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yen and thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts about um, magnetic lashes. So, 2018 was the year of lashes. We had all sort of lashes, 3D, 4D, 7D, mink, um, human hair, synthetic lashes range throughout last year. Semi-permanent, permanent, you know, lashes, or just a year of lashes. So I, I thought to myself, I tried it all, you know, my experience is varied. Um, I found out that the only thing I have not tried so far was a magnetic lash and I'm like, okay, I mean, I would love to see, I went online and I did a bit of research and I found out that, oh, it was, wasn't as new as I thought, it had been around for a while, so I said, okay, let me try for myself and see if they are worth the hype, you know, so, um, so I got one and then this is what it looks like, it comes in a casing like this and then this is what, this is a pair because I think what happens is these two will work for one high and then this will work for another height. So it's not like it's four pieces. This is actually a pair, a pair. So this is what I mean. This is supposed to be, this is supposed to be magnetic to the order like this. Can you see? So it works like, that's how it works. So it is two to one. So you have just two like this for one eye and then the other two for the other. So that's how it works. But I'm going to try it now. So um, I noticed that, well, one of the, Things that caught my fancy about this magnetic lash is that well it means that this they, they claim you don't need to use a glue because it's magnetic so how does it work um so this is the lash i'm going to come close so you can see the magnet there so it has this can you see it, it has magnets in three parts like the beginning the middle and the end this is one pair this is another pair so it's supposed to click like this can you see so it becomes a pair. So that's how you use it for one eye and the other set for another eye. So I said, okay, let me try. Let me see how easy, because it looks very easy, but let me try and see how easy it is. So this is the end and then this is the beginning. Can you see? So I think this is the beginning and then this is the end, because it'll be more flared out there. Okay, so that's what we have. Can you see? On it actually stays because the shoe doesn't stay. Okay, so this is the clothing that can get it. Hey guys, so I have fixed the lashes and that is what it looks like. But what do I think? Honestly, I think this is just a marketing gimmick. Uh, it's a struggle to get the lash on, especially because of the magnets there. You know, I have to, you know, it's not sitting like, there's nothing attaching to my skin so that it can actually sit in place and I can, you know, put it on. And another thing is these lashes come in pairs. So you have to use one up, another down. And you, you're trying to balance it to be on the same level it is struggle so if the idea of this lash is supposed to be like a do it yourself quick and easy mm -mm, it's not that easy it's a struggle you have to calm down and then you know set it and this can take a long time this actually took me like another 20 to 30 minutes to figure out and you know get it to stay and all that so for me i rather stick to the owner another thing i noticed is um the, the design it comes with just one plain design. I mean, I searched, I wanted to see if there were going to be other books. You know how you have crazy designs in lashes, like some are very bold, some are very natural. Some, this just comes in this particular lash design, so it doesn't have any crazy design in this lash. So, what do I think overall? I'm, I'm, I'm not impressed, you know. I'm just but you can try if you want to. You know, I, I think you got, you're going to get a better result if you get a professional makeup artist do it for you, but then I also think it's going to be a struggle because of the magnets they have there, you know, because it's going to keep coming and doing that and it's going to be a struggle. So, um, let me know if you have tried um, the magnetic lashes before and what your thoughts are in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Um, so, thank you so much, guys. I think for taking it out, it's quite um, easy. You just pull 
and then that's it you know so that's how you take it i'll just pull it and then you take it. So taking out the lashes is like the easiest part you just need to pull out and then that's it and you don't have to worry i think that's like the selling point because you know it doesn't have any glue and all that it, you won't have any residue on your lashes but i think you know if i go for oh i'm there or hang out with my friends and i'm dancing and i'm you know hugging this magnetic lashes can actually fall off because it doesn't have anything to secure like the glue would do you know so um thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you like this don't forget, and don't forget to like this video like you know comment let me know what your thoughts are and if you have tried it if you haven't you know, let me know if you would love to try i still have a pet to give away thank you so much for watching guys bye